Only five justices heard the case this morning. The Chief Justice recused himself. At issue is whether the pension and benefit reform law the legislature and governor passed last year applies to judges. A clause in the state constitution says judicial salaries cannot be reduced. The question here is whether requiring greater pension and health benefits contributions from judges is an attack on their salaries. Assistant Attorney General Robert Logie argued for the state. The legislature has not included pensions and health benefits within salary, and therefore neither should this court. Under the new law, a judge's pension contribution would rise from 3% of salary to 12%, from $3,700 a year to $18,000, his health costs would rise from 1.5% of salary to 35% of the cost of the policy. Well-known attorney Justin Walder represented Judge Paul DePascal, who filed the suit. Walder said the 1947 Constitution protects judges against a diminishment of their salaries as a way of insulating them from political pressure. A 40-year history that we have traced in our submissions to the court make it clear that the action here is clearly a diminishment and not a special privilege being afforded to jurors, but rather consistent with the purpose of our Constitution, a protection. A protection for whom? A protection for the public. The argument hinged on what is meant by the word salary and whether greater deductions for benefits are a direct or indirect cut in pay. This is something that is employer induced, employer generated, and required, uh, it happens to operate through the mechanism of a payroll deduction and has a direct impact on, on the uh, take home salary of judges. What, what could be more direct? You know, the salary itself has not changed for all purposes of, of, and that's what would constitute a direct reduction of change in the salary. If the pension contribution were $50,000 and the take home pay of a judge was reduced by 50,000, same argument you'd make? I think it would depend, Your Honor, on how that number was calculated. I the word salary appears in this article. It does in the Why state. should we not give that word full meaning and effect? The court, as is its habit, gave no indication of when it will make a decision. What's unusual here is that whatever it decides will affect the paycheck of the very justices issuing the ruling and of their 400 judicial colleagues around the state. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron in Trenton.